come on in you guys i'm sorry for the lighting it's kind of uh where i'm at the guest room they have me in you guys just come on in come on in come on in i'm excited uh for the word of god that is about to come forth on tonight i'm excited for what god is about to do you guys come on in everybody begin to tag and share as you come in please begin to do me a favor people of god and begin to drop in the comment section come on at everyone at followers at highlights come on on tonight i know uh people of god it's like a yellow uh house so you guys bear with me I I pray you guys can see me clearly. Come on in, people of God, and begin to tag. Come on and share. The enemy is defeated and the devil is a liar. Come on, I don't know who this message is going to be for on tonight, but I can decree in the atmosphere that it's going to be life-changing. When the Lord just gave me the word that I'm getting ready to bring to you on tonight, I was excited. Come on in, people of God. Come on, shout out to you, Miss Teresa, who come in automatically knowing what to do. Come on, the quicker you can begin to tag and share, the quicker people of God, come on, we can set a audience. Come on, I don't know who need to hear this on tonight, but as you begin to tag and share, as you begin to inspire somebody else, hear me and hear me well while going through what you're going through. Come on, I don't know who I'm speaking to on tonight. You don't even understand. You are about to dispatch angels to your own address. So everybody who's coming in, do what you see Snow Simmons doing. Come on, shut out to you woman of God and see Asha and Miss Trees. Come on, they're coming in, putting in the comment section at everyone, at followers, at highlights. Come on, people of God. When I move, you move just like that. Come on, let me invite some people also to this live that I know is going to come in tagging and sharing. You guys give me a minute because I don't want to tell you to do something that I'm not doing myself, but there is definitely people of God, a message. There is definitely come on a word. I don't know who this is for on tonight, but you are about to be blessed. Hear me beyond measures. Every now and again, we need to be reminded. Come on that all is well. Every now and again, people of God, we need to be um, be reminded, come on, that it's getting greater later. Every now, Rabbi Kosaya, and again, people of God, we need to be reminded that God has not forgotten about us. So tonight, people of God, I need you to come in, come on, tagging and sharing. The enemy is upset, yet the enemy is defeated. Come on, um, in people of God, and begin to tag and share. Just give me a second, because baby, I'm doing the same thing also. Hold on one second, people of God. Come on, there was a glitch just then. So on my screen, I'm still seeing um, only 20 viewers, but I know the numbers are moving up. Come on, come on, that ain't nothing but the enemy. But one thing about it, God is even bigger. Come on in, people of God, and begin to tag and share. Come on in, come on, there is nothing too hard for God. Come on, when I move, you move just like that on tonight. I don't know what you're believing God for, but could I put this in the app? atmosphere. Baby, something happens. Watch this. Rabba Kosaya. When we begin to get on one accord, something happens. Come on. When all of our faith begins to line up, there are some of you people of God that are watching. You have nobody to come in agreement with you when it comes to prayer. You may be the only prayer warrior in the family. Come on. You may be tired because everybody depending on your prayers. But I am telling you on tonight, baby, you are in a space. Rabba Kosaya. Here me and hear me well where well, God has the opportunity to show up and show out. Come on in, people of God. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Begin to tag and share. Come on, begin to tag and share. Hallelujah. Come on and begin to tag and share. How you doing, Desmond? Share this live. You guys, give me a second. I'm going to go on this phone and also invite people to this live. And I'm going to also start TikTok. So I thank you guys for your obedience on tonight. Come on in and begin to tag and begin to share. Come on, I got a feeling my spirit, like everybody is on who's supposed to be on. If you guys can come in, come on and drop in the comment section. Come on, at everyone, at followers, at highlights. Come on, we can begin to move. We can build an audience. Come on, that the enemy cannot stand against. We can build a bunch of people. Hear me and hear me well, who don't mind saying, God, in the midst of everything I'm going through, I'm still going to trust you. 
I'm still going to trust you. Come on. That's the way to do it. Miss Latrice, Trice Hayes, Miss Trice Hayes. That's the way to do it. Come on. It's really simple. It's already pinned to the bottom of the screen. You should already see what I need you to do. Drop it in the comment section. Come on. At everyone, at followers. Come on. At highlights. Come on. There's a word. There's a word, people of God. There's a word. Come on. But it's going to require a push. Come on. We're going to push for about three more minutes. Y'all don't even understand the importance of setting an atmosphere before you get uh, before God. You don't understand how important it is, people of God, to have the atmosphere set. Hear me and hear me well. Come on, I don't know who needs to hear this, but this is why things are going wrong in the bedroom. Come on, there's no more romance there. Come on, back in the days, people of God, I don't know who I'm speaking to, but before you made love to your husband or your wife, you set the atmosphere. Come on, you put on a little Johnny, Gr Johnny Gill or Teddy Pendergrass. Come on, you lit a few candles. Candles, ladies, come on, you put on that good smelling perfume and some nice lingerie. You set the atmosphere for what was about to take place. Uh, baby, it's the same thing with prayer. Some of y'all been going to God any kind of way. Just give me a second. I'm inviting people to this live. You've been going to God just any kind of way. And God is saying, set the atmosphere. Come on, you set the atmosphere with worship. You set the atmosphere with praise. Come on, you set the atmosphere. And watch this. Letting the enemy know, come on, that he is defeated on tonight. Come on, I need some atmosphere changes on. Come on in, people of God. I'm getting ready to start TikTok also. Hallelujah. Just give me about two more minutes to build a audience there. Come on, while we're waiting, people of God, can I just take the time out to dispatch angels to the people of God who are obedient? Come on, people of God, on tonight. Could I, Rabbi Kosaya, could I take a moment to dispatch angels? Mighty God, hear me and hear me well. Right to the very spot. Watch this. Just because you tagged and shared, just because you dropped in the comment section. Come Come on, at everyone, at followers, at uh, uh, highlights, everybody who is tuning in right now on Facebook, just give me a second to build an audience over on TikTok. Everybody who's coming in on TikTok, I need you to do me a favor and come in sharing what to do. Come on, don't let Facebook outdo y'all. Come on, come in with those hearts. Come in, dropping in the comment section at uh, everyone, at followers. Come on, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Come on, everybody on Facebook, you still should be tagging and sharing. If you are tuning in on Facebook, people of God, and you have not dropped in the comment section, at followers, watch this, at everyone, um, and at highlights. Come on, you're not in the same vein we are in. That's the quickest way, people of God, to put a seed in the ground. Just give me a second, you guys. I need to pin this over on TikTok. Hallelujah. Okay, there we go. There. Hold on one second. Yep, let me pin it. Okay, you guys, come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Yes. Come on. I need everybody in the in the in the comment section right now. Dropping at everyone at followers at highlights. Come on. Just 60 more seconds. Come on. Just 60 more seconds. Come on. I don't know what you're believing God for over on Facebook or on TikTok, but it's going to require a push on tonight. There is definitely a message. People of God, hear me and hear me well. The Lord is getting ready to speak and getting ready to change your situation again. Everybody over. Over on uh, Facebook, I apologize where I'm at uh, uh, um, out on vacation. They got like a yellow light in the room. So this is why everything looks so dark. But baby, we got to make it work. Come on. Shout out to you, Tanisha Robinson. Come on, everybody on TikTok. We almost there. Share, 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 share this live. Come on. Let me see those hearts all night long because it let me know you are awoke. Come on, Tamika Irvin. I need you tagging and sharing. Come on. I see Shay Reddy. Come Come on. I see a lot of my uh, 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 snipers in the spirit on. Come on. I need y'all to jump. When I move, you move just like that. Let's just jump right now, people of God, into the message on tonight. This message 
Jesus Christ. I don't know who needs to hear this word on tonight, but hear me, Rabbi Kosaya, and hear me well. Tonight's message, people of God, is it won't always be like this. Could I get somebody to just drop that in the comment section? It won't always be like this. People of God, I'm requiring for you to do two things on tonight. If I say something that bless your spirit, I need you to drop in the comment section and begin to comment, comment, comment. Use your fingers to prophesy over yourself because you don't realize you're speaking something in the atmosphere. Watch this, that mm, Jesus Christ at any moment can shift uh, everything you're going through. I just said, uh, drop in the comment section. It won't always be like this. People of God, when I begin to look up the meaning of the word, it, the words, it won't always be like this. Uh, the definition it gave me, people of God, was watch this. Uh, you won't always be stuck in that situation. I want somebody to put that in the comment section. I shall no longer be stuck. I said tonight's topic is it won't always be like this. Rabbi Kosaya in the meaning of that people of God is you won't always be stuck in that situation. See the beautiful thing people of God about us coming together on social media. Watch this. Is Watch this. Your thing that is keeping you stuck might be different from my thing that has kept me stuck. But the beautiful thing about it is that when we get on one accord and we begin to take this thing seriously, come on, we can bombard heaven together on each other's behalf. Somebody ought to put in the comment section, could you just stand in the gap with me? Could you just stand in the gap with me? I'm going through some things on tonight. And I'm not here to play. I'm going through some things on tonight. And I'm not just here to watch the woman of the God. I'm going through some things on tonight. And I'm not on here just to scroll. Hear me and hear me well. I am in a place where I need God more than ever before. I'm in a place, Rabbi Kosaya, where I got no time to play with the devil. I'm in a place, Rabbi Kosaya, where my children depend on my faith. You are in a serious space, people of God. When you say, I no longer got time to dance with the devil. I no longer got time to play with demons. Why? Rabbi Kosaya. Because it is affecting my children. Tonight's message, people of God, is it won't always be like this. God told me to come and tell you on tonight that you won't always watch this. Be kept bound in certain situations. He told me to tell you on tonight that you won't always hear me and hear me well. Be kept in bondage. See, you don't understand that there's different type of bondages. Rabbi Kosaya. Come on, everybody got situations and circumstances that have them in their breaking point. I don't know uh, who I'm speaking to on tonight, but I'm speaking to some people who are at their breaking point. Uh, God is saying on tonight uh, that you won't always have to struggle. Oh, I need somebody to just put in the comment section really quickly. Come on, that I won't be no longer kept in bondage. Oh, you ought to just put there, no longer kept in bondage. Come on, shorten it up. Do what you got to do. Uh, but when I begin to prophesy something over the internet on tonight, I need you to take it serious. Come on, begin to comment. I just said, you became your own prophet on tonight uh, by coming in agreement with your thumbs. Said you won't always be kept in bondage. He said to tell the people of God, come on, I don't know who this is for, but you won't always have to struggle. Somebody ought to put in the comment section, my days of struggling is up. I'm not worried about if you watching me. Uh, the waters are stirring right now. The woman of God act like she been in my house, uh, like a fly on the wall. So I know this message is for me. My days of struggle is over. Could I get you to drop that in the comment section? It's over. It's over. It's over. Rabbi Kosaya, he said to tell you, you won't always, my God, be depressed. I am learning people of God that there are so many people who come out in public and put a smile on their face, mighty God, but behind closed doors, they are depressed and they're battling things. Come on, decree that in the atmosphere, I will no longer be depressed. He said to tell you, you won't always 
be taken advantage of. Could I talk to some people on tonight that all your life you've been taken advantage of to the point, watch this, you're just numb to it. All your life you've been taken advantage of to the point that you just sweep it off without saying anything. All your life. Jesus Christ, you've been taken advantage of to where it's a new thing that has literally grown on you. There are some of you that are watching. It started when you were a child. You were taken advantage of by somebody who, 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 who took something precious between your legs, women. But these days you can't even say women only because I've talked to a lot of men who got been raped and they never told anybody or they've been touched in the wrong way. And God is saying on tonight, you will no longer be taken advantage of. And because you bit with Jesus Christ, you put up with that situation and Rabbi Kosaya, mama and daddy swept it under the rug like it never happened ever since that spirit was planted in you as a child. Come on, it done followed you, people of God, through your adult life. So now everybody come along and they take advantage of you. Come on, now everybody come along and they thank you something to play with. Come on, now everybody come along, Rabbi Kosaya, who am I speaking to? And they just begin to take advantage of your heart. God is saying on tonight, the message is it won't always be like this. You won't always have to suffer in silence. Rabbi Kosaya, you won't always watch this. Wish you had more to provide for your kids. You can sit on here watching me with this Barbie shirt or, or if you want to and act like this message ain't for you or you can begin to tap in and receive everything that I am saying. I dare you to drop in the comment section three times back to back I receive it said to tell the people of God you won't always be like this tonight people of God you're going to have to release your faith before it happens I'm going to say it again God is saying on tonight you're going to have to release your faith before it happens come on everybody on TikTok come on give me those hearts and share the live come on everybody on Facebook come on continue to tag and share I said everybody that is watching I need you to drop in the comment section the at sign with the word everyone come on I need everybody to do that very quickly. Come on, the at symbol with the word everyone. Why? Because, oh, Jesus Christ, when you can encourage somebody else while you're going through, you don't even understand. That's the way you get your blessings. This is why, people of God, you can be tested in some of the most craziest ways possible. And later on, it's a testimony for somebody else. What you're going through, it's never for you. It's always for somebody else. He told me to come and tell the people of God on tonight. It won't always be like this. The very thing you're going through. Hear me and hear me well. I know you feel like you've been through it a long time. I know you feel like you've been praying for God to take this thing away from you for a long time. But God is saying, hold on, daughter. He said, hold on, son. Rabakosaya, Rabakosaya, because this thing is just temporary. Somebody drop in the comment section. It's temporary. It's temporary. What what, what happens, people of God, where you feel like most of 2023, you have sat off to the side watching everybody else win? What happened, people of God, when you sit back and look in your life and you said in 2023, I got to sit in the bleachers and clap for everybody else. I did it genuinely. Who am I speaking to? Come on, I ain't have no ill will in my heart. Come on, I ain't trying to cross nobody to get there. Rabbi Kosaya, I waited patiently for my turn and it seemed like it never came. Do I got some honest people on tonight that don't mind putting in the comment section? It never came. It never came. I felt like God forgot me. It never came. It never came. God is seen on tonight. It won't always be like this. There are some of you that are watching this live. You were just saying to yourself, God, when will it be my turn? Rabbi Kosaya. I just need some honest people on here that don't mind saying that God when, when will it be my turn? God when, when are you going to bless me? God when, when are you going to show up on my behalf? And he's saying, just be patient because it won't always be like this. Hear me and hear me well, people of God. 
There are some of us that are watching on tonight. Watch this. It makes us sick to be patient. Rabakosaya. There are some of you people of God, it bothers you to have to Rabakosaya be patient. Who am I speaking to on tonight? But God is saying, this next move of God, hear me and hear me what I am saying on tonight. He said, you won't have to pretend. Could I get somebody to put that in the comment section? I won't have to pretend. When I got down to Georgia, people of God, with my big sis and my big bro, I went down yesterday and spent the night to my sister's house because I haven't spent time with her in so long. But then after that, I went to my spiritual brother and sister house, Ashanti and Cash. And hear me and hear me well. God has been great to them. And as I begin to pull up in the driveway, me and my husband, hear me and hear me where I've never seen a house so big in my life. You think I got a hate? No, no, no. I jumped out the car and opened my arms and begin to say, Lord, I'm next. Oh, I need some people who are on here on tonight that say I ain't got a jealous bone in my body. But I'm saying, God, I am next. Who is Rabakosaya? Messiah. Who is this for on tonight? It won't always, won't always be like this. God is saying you're getting to a place where you no longer have to pretend. Rabbi Kosaya, you'll get to a place, people of God, where you no longer have to fake it to make it. You'll get to a place uh, where you won't be just saying you're winning, but you really winning in real life. Uh, listen, people of God, I just bought my house three years ago, and baby, it is nice. Uh, to God be all the glory. Come on, I deserve everything I got. Uh, I was on Section 8 for almost 18 years. Hear Rabbi Kosaya, hear me and hear me well. But when I pull in the driveway of their house, uh, God said, don't box yourself when I got even greater for you. Could I say that to somebody who is watching on tonight, baby? Don't box yourself when he got even greater for you. Come on, there is nothing that God will withhold from you. But you got to have faith. Somebody put that in the comment section. I got to get my faith up. I got to get my faith up. God is saying that things is about to shift. All he wants you to do is completely give it to him. Watch this without worry. I want everybody to just take about five seconds. Take a moment and think about your situation. Take a moment and think about what you prayed to God for to deal with your situation. And then take a moment and say, am I still worrying about it? Baby, let me tell you something. You'll know when you completely gave that thing to God. Watch this. Because ever since you gave it to God, you've been chilling. You'll know people of God when you completely have given that thing to God. Why? Because it will not stress you out. God is saying, I got this, but I need you. And all I want you to do is completely watch this. Give it to me without worrying. Could I get you to put that in the comment section? I'm done worrying about it. Come on, give me those hearts. Come on, I need to know y'all are there. Come on, come on. I'm done worrying about it. I'm done worrying about it. Why? Because I'm stressed out because of worry. I'm done worrying about it. Why? Because why worry about things I cannot change? See, you ain't never been in a real situation. Watch this until everything you tried didn't work. Oh, I want to scream, but I'm in somebody else's house. You ain't really been in a real test. And to everything you have done, nothing have worked. You ain't got no choice but to call on the name of Jesus even when you didn't believe in him. You ain't been in a situation until everything you tried, people of God, did not work. Until you had no choice but to say, God, I surrender the things I cannot change. Could you drop that in the comment section tonight twice, back to back? Watch this, not in the same uh, 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 comment. I said drop it twice, back to back. I, I surrender. Watch this, people of God. God gave me this for you on tonight. Uh, First Peter, watch this, chapter 5, verse 7. First Peter, chapter 5, verse 7, and it says this. It says, cast all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Ain't that a gracious God that say, give me all your problems. Tell me all your issues. You got anxiety? Guess what? You got anxiety on your own. Watch this because I've been told you to give it to me. What a gracious God. Come on, you got friends who don't want to... 
pick up the phone and hear what you're going through. And God is saying, watch this, cast all, not some, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Somebody ought to put in the comment section, I'm giving it up. I'm giving it up. Everything I'm going through, I'm giving it up. The relationship, I'm giving it up. My finances, I'm giving it up. The struggle, I'm giving it up. My addiction, I'm Rabbi Kosaya, I'm giving it up. My body, come on, I'm giving it up. My health, I'm giving whatever it is after tonight, baby, I'm giving it up. I'm not taking it into 2024 with me. Why? Because God said, give it to him. He wanted all on he can do with it. You think you've been tested. Baby, you ain't been tested unless you've been in a situation where you try everything and nothing worked. You tried everything, but nothing worked. Could I get somebody to drop that in the comment section? I tried everything, but nothing worked. Tonight's message, if you are just now tuning in, people of God, is it won't always be like this. God is saying on tonight, hand it over to me. Why? Somebody saying why? Put that in the comment section. Why? Put some question marks back to back in the comment section. I want to know why. Why should I hand it over to a God I cannot see? I want to know why. Why should I hand it over to you when I prayed about it four months ago and it still didn't happen? Come on, do I got some honest people on here who wants to know why? God is saying on tonight, hand it all over to me. And you're saying why? Why? Watch this, people of God. Because why are you stressing about things you cannot change? God is saying on tonight. There are some of you asking why? Why? Because watch this. It's been keeping you up at night. I can see how it's affecting your sleep. There are some of you that are watching on tonight. And you're saying, God, why? And God is saying, watch this. It's stressing you out and making you sick. Your blood pressure ain't never been this high. Come on. You're saying, why? Why? Because your appetite done changed. You don't even look the same anymore. Come on, you look like you're going through something. You look like hell. Could I be honest with you? You look like death. It be like that when you're going through it sometimes. But God is saying, give it over to me. Come on, God is saying, give it over to me. He said, you're going through what you're going through because you have not fully let it go. There are some of you that are watching on tonight. Uh, you have given God the pieces to your broken heart, uh, but you still have not fully letting it go. Rabba Kosaya. This is why you still so tied to that person or that situation. And whatever you do to try to get away from it, my God, you keep taking 20 steps back and letting them back in. Hear me and hear me well. God say, give me all the pieces. Say, give me all the pieces. He said to tell you on tonight, you can't pray to me and still be in panic. There are so Rabba Kosaya. Hear me and you, ooh, Jesus, I just felt that. Rabba Kosaya. Watch this. He said, You cannot pray to me and still panic. You cannot pray to me and still panic. You're saying, God, I need you to deal with this situation. But you're panicking because time is winding down. God said you can't do both. You have not completely given it all over to me if you are praying and panicking at the same time. Do I got some honest people that don't mind? Put it in the comment section. I Watch this. I, I, I've been praying, but I've been panicking. Come on, be honest. I've been praying, but I've been panicking. Come on, I want to see those hearts. Come on, I want to see those hearts. I need to know that this message is for you on tonight. Come on, I want to see those hearts. I don't want you just on here watching me. Come on, take your finger and tap, 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 tap. The devil is a liar. I need to know, come on, that you ain't on here just for games. You on here, people of God, because this message is blessing your soul. God is saying you cannot worship me and keep worrying. You can't do both. He said you cannot worship me. And your eyes are still watering with tears. No, no, no. You can't do both. You can't do both. Somebody put that in the capital letters. I can't do both. I'm, 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 I'm prophesying to myself right now. I can't do both. I, I, I couldn't have completely given it to God 
If, if, if every time I worship him, I keep worrying. Every time I worship him, you catching water coming down my eyes. I can't do both. I don't know who this message is for. But if you've been crying, lady, drop some, some tear emojis. Come on, be unapologetic about it. I've been crying lately. I've been going through because this thing has been serious. God is saying on tonight, people of God, hear me and hear me well. It won't always be like this. Come on, drop it. Drop it in the comment section. Come on, if you've been crying about some things lately, come on, be bold enough to water this live with your tears. I cannot worship and worry said to tell the people of God, you cannot cry to me and still be confused. Are you going to cry out to God and say, God, I surrender. Take this thing from me. But you still confused on how long God is going to take to do it. Pick a side. You either going to trust God or you going to let the enemy defeat you. But baby, you got to pick a side. Who is this for? Hear me and hear me well. You got to pick a side. He said, watch this. You can't surrender to me and still think you're suffering in the process. No, God, if I gave it to you, I know that it's already getting better. You cannot surrender to God and feel like you're suffering at the same time. He said, you cannot quote scriptures. Watch this and still feel offended. I'm quoting scriptures that God going to deal with my enemies, but yet it's still, I still want to smack them in the face. I'm quoting scriptures that God going to make my enemies, my footstools, but yet and still I want to respond to them on social media. No, baby, if you gave it to God, you better hear what I'm saying to you, man. If you gave it to God, it should not still be bothering you. It won't always be like this. Could I get somebody to drop that in the comment section twice, back to back to back? Rabba Kosaya. Come on, who is this for on tonight? The Holy Spirit is saying it's hard. It's hard to give it to God when you're questioning why. I don't know who needs to hear this on tonight, but God is saying the death was not by accident, that I needed them more. Oh, who is this for? I don't know who this is for. God, Rabba Kosaya. Rabba Kosaya. Thank you, Holy Ghost. God is saying on tonight, you need to heal. The death, mighty God, hear me, was all a part of my plan because I, I needed them more. God is saying it won't always be like this. You won't always be grieving. It won't always be like this. Come on, I don't know who I'm speaking to, but I'm praying for that mother and that father that may have lost the child. I'm praying for that child that might have lost their mother or father. God is saying you won't always be like this. There are some of you that have been suffering in silence. You've been fighting the voices in your head lately. And if you go to your friends and say, I've been hearing voices, come on, they'll look at you funny. If you go to your family and say, lately, I, I, I've been thinking bad. I've been thinking suicidal. Come on, these voices are come on overtaking me. I hear them all the time. People think you done lost your dang on mind. Rabbi Kosaya. But God said you won't always be suffering in silence. Do I got some honest people who don't mind putting in the comment section? Come on, I've been suffering in silence. I've been suffering behind closed doors. And the people closest to me have missed it. They don't even understand what I've been going through. There are some of you people of God, hear me and hear me well. You, oh Jesus Christ, you're saying on tonight, God, I'm sick of going through it behind closed doors. I'm sick of going through it alone. I'm sick of experiencing this thing all by myself. Do I got some people on tonight that don't mind dropping in the comment section? Oh, all by myself. I, I've been going through this all by myself. God told me to give you tonight John chapter 16, verse 20. And it says this, people of God, I tell you the truth. You will weep and you will mourn while the world seems to be throwing a party. But your suffering, watch this, will develop gladness. I need to read that to somebody again. Because while you're going through 
It looks like everybody else is turning up while you're going through. It looks like everybody living their best life while you're going through. It looks like God is blessing everybody else on your block but you. But John 16 and 20 says this. I tell you the truth. You will weep and mourn. That means you will go through some things while the world is throwing a party. But your suffering will develop into gladness. That lets me know, people of God, that it won't always be like this. What I'm going through is, it's only for a moment. What I'm going through, it's only for a season. God is saying for me to tell you on tonight that this too shall pass. This too shall pass. There are some of you that just got a phone call that got you all aggravated in the spirit, but God is saying this too shall pass. There are some of you that just got into a big argument with your significant other, but God is saying this too, watch this shall pass. It's only temporary. Your tears, people of God are temporary. Feeling alone, hear me, it's temporary. The anger you are holding on to, it's temporary. The unforgiveness, people of God, God is saying it's temporary. The being broke, come on, who is this? for. It's temporary. The not having enough. Come on. It's temporary. Come on. There are some of you I just said two or three things you're going through. So you should be commenting back to back to back to back baby. It's temporary. It's temporary. It's temporary. Just heard the Holy Spirit say there are some of you watch this in relationships where the other person genuinely love you But the spirit behind that person, God said to tell you on tonight, watch this. That thing is so deep in them that they went through some things through childhood and taking it out on you. They love you, but you want to know why they can't stop cheating. You want to know why am I not enough? They love you, yet they still uh, 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 watch this emotionally um, tear you down like a dog. Come on. They physically beat you down. Come on, like a dog. And you're saying, God, this is not love. But do you know that hurt people hurt people? Lately, I've been telling these men, some of y'all need to go and heal before y'all get in a relationship when they are on counseling sessions with me because men have been going through too. But I'm here to tell you, hurt people, hurt people. Could you drop that in the comment section? Hurt people, hurt people, and even strong people need people. Hear me and hear me well. I don't know who this is for. But you're in tears just hearing me say this. God is saying they do love you, but they got their own internal issues that is so deep. Rabbi Kosanya, they're going to have to heal from the inside out because of what, watch this, they went through as a child. There are some, watch this, of you that are watching, your significant other cannot properly love you. Why? Because they never experienced love. They never had Mama or daddy. And you're wondering why I'm, I'm, they say they love me. But yet they emotionally tear me down every day. You say you love me. But yet you're stressing me out back to back. Come on, who is this for? They got to heal from the inside out. God is saying that it won't always be like this. So you've gotten into a place, watch this, where you become numb to bad news. Come on, who is this for? You become numb to bad news. Don't tell me nothing about my husband or my baby daddy. Don't tell me nothing about my wife or my baby mama. I don't want to hear that you've seen them out to dinner with somebody else or you've seen them in the club with somebody else. I don't want to hear nothing about they got a baby on the way. Why? Because you numb. To disappointment. <clears throat> you love them so much. You praying for God to change them. But all you getting is disappointment. You, you love them so much. But you are afraid to tell your friends. That you keep running back to the same situation. Over and over. Because even though they treat you wrong. Mighty God. They still have your heart. Their soul tied to you. Somehow. 
Somebody ought to put that in the comment section. You talking to me. I ain't ashamed to say it, but you're, you're talking to me. God is saying it won't always be like this. God is saying you're in a season where you're just passing through. I'm not here, Rabbi Kosanya, to stay here. I, I, I'm, I'm here and I'm just passing through. <clears throat> People of God, I remember when um, we were taking a road trip one time, me and my family to a place and we would stop, you know, after five or six hours so everybody can use the bathroom and we go and get something to eat and we will get out at the gas station or at the rest of fast food restaurant to get something to eat. And I would be like, well, down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida and in Miami, you know, they don't do it this way. And the people would be like, oh yeah, well, this is the way we do it here. And, you know, I would get in my car and get back in the car. And as I leave out, I'll be like, thank God I don't live here. You ever went in, in, and you're passing through a place and it's just so slow. Everything is so country and you from the fast life. Hear me and give me what you be like. Thank God I don't live here. It's boring. Baby, I'm just passing through. This is not my final situation. I'm just passing through. Come on, could I get you to drop that in the comment section and prophesy over yourself? This is not where I'm building a house at. This is not my final destination. I'm just passing through. So it won't always be like this. James chapter one, verse 12 says this, and I'm about to wrap it up. It says, blessed is the person who stands while under trial, because when he has stood the test, he will receive his crown. Some of you, you want, you, 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 oh, Jesus Christ. Let me, let me read it again before I break this down. James chapter one, verse 12 says this. Blessed is the person who stands while going through something. Blessed is the person who being attacked, but they still bouncing back from it. Blessed is the person who going through, but they still got to get up and go to work every day to provide. Rabbi Kosaya, even though they rather lay in their bed, my God, and be stressed out. Blessed is the person who stand up and trust God in the midst of the storm. Watch this. It also says this, because when he has stood the test, he will receive his crown. He will receive his keys. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. He will receive the fact uh, uh, that God is fixing his relationship. He will receive double for his trouble. He will receive his finances. Rabbi Kosaya. He will receive good health. He will receive good news. Blessed is the person who stands by under trials. I'm going to tell you on tonight, if you don't remember nothing else, baby, it won't always be like this. I hear the Lord saying there is somebody who is on here. They were getting ready to give up on their business at one point because the business wasn't businessing. The money wasn't coming in. The clients wasn't coming in. You were getting ready to wipe your hands with that thing. And God said, don't you do it because it won't always be like this. Don't you do it because I'm about to blow your mind with new clientele. Don't you do it because I gave you the vision and I'm going to fund the vision. He said, don't give up before I can bless you. Won't always be like this. I want to leave everybody with this one scripture. Jeremiah 33 verse 6. I want everybody to drop that in the comment section. Come on, this one scripture. Thank you, still standing strong. That baby came in and automatically start dropping in the comment section at everyone, at followers. Come on, there are people just now jumping on and that's fine. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Come on, shout out to you, uh, Coco. What's this baby name on TikTok? I, that, that's the type of friends I want to have. Coco Licious on TikTok. She added uh, Tr Trina or Trina, Traina Bowie and put in the comment section, don't give up. That's the type of people I love to be connected to. Inspire me to keep pushing. Watch this, people of God. Jeremiah 33 and 6 says this. Remember I said tonight's message is it won't always be like this. Jeremiah 33 and 6 says this. Nevertheless, watch this. I will bring you health and healing to it. I will heal my people and will let them enjoy abundant peace and security. I'm going to break it down to you. 
But let me read it one more time. Jeremiah in 33 says this. I'm talking to people who need to hear this message on tonight that it won't always be like this. This won't be the final result of your situation. It says, nevertheless, I will bring you health and healing to it. Nevertheless, I will heal you in your mind. Nevertheless, I will heal your relationship. Nevertheless, will you will not be, will, will, um, um, won't you be, watch this, healthy again, money-wise, or in your body. God is saying, watch this, nevertheless. Meaning, through it all, I will still bring you health and healing to it. Then this is what blesses me. I will heal my people and will let them uh, enjoy abundant peace and security. God is saying, I'm getting ready to heal you in such a way, mighty God. It's about to bring you peace and security. Who am I speaking to on tonight? God is about to help you secure the bag. God is about to help you secure the relationship. Who am I speaking to? God is about to help you secure your deliverance. God is about to help you secure the win in the courtroom. Come on, you want to put that in the comment section with what you're needing God to do. God is about to help you secure the home. He's about to help you secure the car. Come on, who is this for? He's about to help you secure your relationship, secure your health, secure better for your children. Do you believe it? It won't always be like this. Come on, who is this for? Who is this for? You needed this message on tonight. Watch this, because you were getting ready to give up. And God is saying you're right there. Watch this. In the midst of your breakthrough. Why? Rabba Kosaya. Are you willing to give up when your breakthrough is around the corner? God is saying you have overcame way worse. He know it hurts, but you, Rabbi Kosaya, you've overcame way worse. Come on, who is this for on tonight, people of God? Come on, you say, God, it's hurt. it hurts, it's, it's hard. Come on, but I, you said that in your word, you about to give me security. Who is this for on tonight? Jeremiah 33 and 6 said it. If you are just now tuning in, people of God, tonight's message was this. It won't always be like this. There are some of you, watch this. This is confirmation from God for you. Come on, who am I speaking to on tonight? This message, watch this, was just confirmation. Who am I speaking to on tonight? This message was just confirmation. Come on, people of God. Everybody drop that in the comment section. It won't always be like this. Come on, decree it all over. Right now, in the name of Jesus, come on over this live. It's not by coincidence that you are here. We are here in an appointed time. You won't always be jobless. You won't always be struggling. Your money won't always be in delay. You won't always be lied on. You won't always be taken advantage of. You won't always be made a fool of. It won't always be like this. Jeremiah 33 and 6 says this. Nevertheless, I will bring you health and healing to it. Meaning whatever your situation may be. He said that I will heal my people and will let them enjoy abundant peace and security. Fellas, let me tell you, if you're watching, that's all women want is security. Men want respect, but women want security. And oh, Jesus, when the Lord told me in Jeremiah 33, Jesus Christ in six, that he was securing everything I need. I was glad somebody ought to put that in the comment section. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I am glad God is securing the bag. He's securing the situation. He's securing the, the, the bad report from the doctor. Man, why are you worried? It won't always be like this. People of God were getting ready to show a seed on tonight. We're sowing the Jeremiah 33 and 6 seed. Jeremiah 33 and 6 <clears throat> says that this, that God will bring healing and watch this peace and security to it. I want everybody to begin to sow on tonight. Of Jeremiah 33 and 6 seed. Some of you are going to sow $33 and 60 cents. 
Hear me and hear me well as you begin to sow on tonight. There is, watch this, in, in on Facebook, it's pinned to the bottom of the screen. On TikTok, it's to the top of the screen. Let me say this. There are people, people of God that have sat on here with you saying amen and hallelujah in the comments. And the minute I call the seed, watch this, they want to run you away. Why I got to give money? You ain't got to give money, but I'm going to do it. The reason I'm going to do it is because this message was for me. I'm walking this thing out in faith. I want you to begin to sow. Come on, there are some of you that are going to sow $33.60. You're going to sow it for you and you're going to sow it. Watch this for your significant other. Come on, I want you to begin to put that Jeremiah 33 and 6 seed in the ground. And I want you to put in the comment section, it won't always be like this. Your it may be different from my it. Come on, who is this? Is This is for on tonight. The different ways to give, Rabba Kosaya, on tonight, people of God, Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, and Venmo. It's the same phone number, 754-246-0580. That is for Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, and Venmo. If you are sewing via Cash App, people, watch this. Put in the full phone number until you see Dr. Shakira M pop up. They have made fake cash out to me. You're going to see a picture of me in a black dress. Put in the full phone numbers. Watch this. Put in the full phone number. And to Dr. Shakira M pop up. There are some of you that need to sew tonight via Zelle. It's the same phone number. 754-246-0580. Come on, there's a bunch of people sewing right now. Gum Ministries would pop up. G-U-M Ministries for God use me. There are some of you that are watching. You need to sow via Chime. You need to sow via Venmo. It's too many ways to give for you to mix this blessing on tonight. There are some of you people of God. You say, I, I, I was willing to sow the $33.60. But I'm going to take it up a little bit higher and I'm going to sow the $133.60. And the reason I'm going to sow the $133.60 is because I've been going through so much. Hear me and hear me well that I need God to do it in every area of my life. My relationship has been tested. My finances have been tested. My health has been tested. My children have been tested. My peace have been tested. So you begin to say on tonight, watch this, that I got to sow the 133.60. I'm saying, don't miss this move of God. Come on and begin to sow. Begin to sow. Yes, Apple Pay is a different number. If you're sowing people of God on Apple Pay on tonight, it's a different number. 954. 245-7379. I'm getting ready to pin it to the bottom of the screen on Facebook. Come on, don't miss, don't miss this move of God. There are some of you, people of God, you need to pray before you give. I don't want you to watch this given to my ministry and let your faith is lining up with what we're believing God for. Come on, some of you, you need to pray about it first. Don't just sow because I need you to believe. Watch this, what I said. It won't always be like this. You're just passing through this stage. It's temporary. Jeremiah 33 and 6 says this. After you went through everything, God is saying, nevertheless, I will bring you health and healing to it. Whatever your it may be, I will heal my people and I will, oh Jesus, I will let them enjoy abundant peace and security. God is saying, I got you, but I need you to give me all the pieces. Watch this people of God, $33.60. $133.60. There are some of you saying on tonight, all I got is $13.60. I'm saying you better put that $33.60 in there somehow. Come on, the waters are stirring on tonight. The waters are stirring on tonight. Crystal on TikTok said, I need to sow the 133 because I, I've been tested in every way I could be. Jesus Christ. Come on, come on, people of God. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Push, 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 push. Because we're Sura, the reason it, it's that mount, because we're sowing a 3360 seed. We're sowing a Jeremiah 33 and 6 seed. If you have sold, I want you to comment below. I sold. Please do not, people of God, get off until I pray over your seeds. It won't always be like that, like this. 
What you're going through is only temporary. Let me call out some names. It's a bunch of people showing. Tamika W. Seed have been received. Domitia. No, Donisha M. Dotson. Your seed have been received. Makia. Uh, Makia Marshallik. Hope I'm saying it right. Your seed has been received. Y'all got, forgive me if I call the name wrong. I'm sorry. Monica, your seed has been received. Tamika Watson, your seed has been received. Latresa, seed's been received. Uh, Shelly Frazier, seed received. Shay Shay, seed received. Jamarcus Poole, seed received. Titus Banks, seed received. Letitia Burns, Sharika Williams. I've received both of you guys' seed. Elizabeth Alcius, last name spelled A-L-C-I-U-S. Remember I said forgive me. If I'm not saying it right, Uriah Catchings, Seed Receive, L. Wood, Seed Receive, Tiffany Regis, Seed Receive, Snow Simmons, <clears throat> um, Seed Receive, On Tonight, Land Woods, uh, Seed Receive, On Tonight, there's a bunch of people sewing, uh, Tika Jerner, Seed Receive, Janet McKnight Frost, Seed Receive, Yes, Aaron Smith, seed receive. Jeffrey Sawandell, Lord Jesus. S C W W A N D E L L, seed receive. Come on, there's a lot of people sewing. Yes, I put the number for Apple Pay. It's a different number. 954 245 7379. If you're from the Bahamas, it's the same way up top, baby. Look up top. You, you got Cash App on the top at TikTok. You got Apple Pay, you got PayPal, you got Zelle. Um, you can even do invoices. It's the same phone number. Text the word invoice to 754-246-0580. I can send you an invoice for the amount and you pay with your card. But if you're in the Bahamas, Cash App is the same. All of that stuff is the same, um, woman of God. Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, come on, I want everybody to comment below, I sold, if you sold on tonight, come on, comment, I sold, Jeremiah 33 and 6, tonight's message was, uh, it won't always be like this, we're sowing a Jeremiah 33 and 6 seed in the ground, come on, drop, I sold, if you sold on tonight, Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray, we pray for every person on tonight, people of God, God, we pray, Pray for every person on tonight first that did not have it to give. God, they sold with their tears. They sold by sharing. They sold by tagging. God, you truly know the desires of their hearts. Marsha, thank you for the 85 cent seed. Watch this. You all know the desires of their heart. God, I ask that you just begin to bless them. Bless them on tonight, Lord God. Bless them financially, Lord God, so they can see, Lord God, you are real. Come on, Father, I ask Lord God, that you begin to bless on tonight. Uh, every person who put a seed, uh, come on, in the ground, I ask, Lord God, that you begin to bless them beyond measures. I ask, God, that it come back in the name of Jesus a thousand fold. Whatever amount they sold, oh God, let it come back a thousand fold in the name of Jesus. I ask, Lord God, that you begin to show up and show out like never before, God. I ask, Lord God, that you begin to pull them out of a dry place uh, and deal with their situation. I decree and declare in the atmosphere, oh God, that their lives uh, will never be the same. I decree and declare that it will not always be like this. Uh, show up and show out. Uh, move mightily, oh God. Throw your weight, mighty God, around their homes. Let your glory fall on their situation. I cover it under the blood of Jesus. Because it's the blood of Jesus that works. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Come on, I don't know who this is for. But just receive it. Come on, I need everybody. Follow me on YouTube at Shakira McFatton. There are some of you that come in late. I, I upload every live video thereafter. So over on YouTube at Shakira McFatton, you can also send your peoples the link that do not, do not have social media so they can still hear the word. Also, people of God, follow me on Instagram at Shakira underscore the realtor. Look for the blue check. I only have one Instagram. 
and I'm not messaging nobody. Follow me on TikTok at Evangelist Shakira. I only have one page. If it do not say a following of more than 65,000, it's not me. I'm not messaging nobody on TikTok. I'm not doing an $80,000 fun prize giveaway. I don't have an orphanage. All of these are fake pages. Please, people of God, use wisdom. If it don't say more than 60 some thousand followers, it's not me. I keep reporting the page. They won't do nothing about it. Most importantly, follow me on Facebook. This is where I'm at the most, at Shakira McFadden. Look for the blue check, Shakira McFadden. When you find me on Facebook, look for the blue check and look at the following. Make sure it say at least a half million followers. You will know it's me. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Tune in in the morning at 11 a.m. Um, you can also click the link in the bios on Facebook and on TikTok. It has the ways to pay. Um, it has the ways to, to plant a seed also. I'm going to end TikTok first. I love you guys. Good night. And now I'm going to end Facebook. I love you guys. See you in the morning.